Hello and welcome to a rather special video. This time it's about a 200 faster cast rate lightning sorceress. Now this is the original character, just a uh, few high, uh, levels higher that I used for my um, 117 faster cast rate lightning sorceress. This sorceress also has a different build which I will go over in just a minute. First um, I'll just show the stats. Just enough strength for your uh, spirit shield. Um, you need some dexterity if you use a wizard spike, but this is not something you need to. Then you should aim for the rest in vitality. Now you could put something in energy. It's not useless to put uh, points into energy for this build, but I chose not to. I just went with the remaining points into vitality. Now the build, I took one point in Frozen Armor just to get that defense up. Took one point in Wormed. And now for Lightning, I took one point to Teleport and Precrest. Static Field and then I maxed Nova. I'm definitely going to be using Nova now that I have maxed it. It is amazing just when you have the faster cast rate for it. And then I maxed lightning, uh, chain lightning, and lightning, and lightning mastery, and then put remaining points into charge bolt. And that's the build. Now let's go over the gear. Uh, some of these gear you have to use. There's no other options. You need to use mage piece for the faster cast rate. The mana regen also helps a lot. I have one faster cast raid ring. Um, you can also go with two faster cast raid ring, but then you uh, and then you don't have to use uh, a wizard spike, and then you could use a hotel instead. But uh, I chose not to because I feel like wizard spike plus one uh, faster cast raid ring is better than hotel, just because then I also can uh, get to use. Um, uh, and the Stone of Jordan, and I get more mana and more resist. While I do get less uh, damage if I use the Hotel, because it has plus three total skills. So it's basically more mana and regen and stuff like that. Also, the other thing is, if you go with Hotel, you need to have two faster cast rate right ring, and just getting one that is like decent stats is hard enough. So that's also something to consider, because. Um, it's not easy to get uh, grads uh, faster cast rate ring. They cost a lot. This one is okay. At least it has almost 20 strength and some fire resist. That's okay. Not the worst stats, but uh, they can be a lot better. But then they cost a lot, and it's like it could be uh, as much as uh, nearly all my items together, just for a decent one. Now a rag belt, no other options. I went with silk weave. You can also use elders or even tracks, whatever. Um, I use silk weave because I need the uh, mana. And then I'm using an Ovid, uh weapon magic. You should definitely try to get an upgraded one. Uh, they're quite expensive on uh, non ladder, but um, on ladder they should be pretty easy to uh, get. I have also, I believe this one is, yeah, it's perfect resist and some decent defense on this one, but uh, I maxed the resist on the one I got at least. And then I'm using a perfect spirit shield or perfect faster cast rate, at least 35% cast rate. I needed, uh, before, uh, I had a 33%, but I lag it 2% faster cast rate with my items, so I had to get a perfect uh, faster cast rate 35%. So that was a bit unfortunate, but if you use this build, you have to get um, this this uh, spirit seal with 35%, and it costs a lot to get one compared to, say, a normal one that doesn't have close to 35%. This one I paid uh, five uh, high runes for, which is quite a lot um, for a spirit seal. Normally, I like two or three high runes. And the griffins, not the best as on this one. Uh, you need the uh, faster cast rate, so there's no other option. You just have to get a griffin as well. And now for my prized uh, amulet. 
um, I gave away and uh, uh, I believe it was the uh, Nurkru diadem I gave uh, I showed that in another video I uploaded it was a Grads Nurkru diadem I gave away for this amulet um, this one is almost like Grads it's the only thing that could make it better would be um, if it had 20% faster cast rate or if it had um, uh, all resists. So this one is Grad's amulet. It's probably a, one of the best items I have on my entire account. I'm very happy about the amulet. Now if it had 20% faster cast rate I could have used another sword ring or I could have used a uh, Hotu but that's just the way it goes. Now for the inventory, if I had more wealth, uh, I do have some, I could uh, go for it, but if I wanted to, you, or if you want to, you could go for faster hit recovery, large uh, grand charms. Faster hit recovery is very, very nice for standing around all the mobs when you're using Nova, and then just go with some uh, life, uh, uh, life uh, small charms. You don't even have to get resist on them or anything. It's like you max the resist anyway, even with Hotu. So that's pretty easy. Not the best uh, torches or needles I have on this one as well, but it's just more life. It doesn't really matter. But uh, try to get uh, good attributes and don't care about the resist, because with these items you max resist anyway. And I uh, also have some other items from my old build but there's not much to show. Again, you can use a Hotto if you don't want to use a Wizard Spike, but that's about it. And yeah, I think I will uh, showcase the build now. Now, I haven't been practicing much. Um, I kind of just got 289 and uh, respec it for the gear now. So um, let's just see how it goes. If I can hit at least below, say, 2 minutes 50. Oh, and also I love teleporting with 200% faster cast rate. There is a huge difference pre between that and 105 uh, cast or faster cast rate. It's just so amazing. Uh, that's one of the perks of having this much uh, uh, faster cast rate. Ah, uh, we saw I nearly used uh, 1.2k mana just for this one elite pack here. It's yeah, cost so much mana this build. Um, I will might have to change out the rows of uh, potion as well, so I have three rows of mana potions and that uh, two. But uh, we will see how this goes. Anywho, let's um, buff up and um, let's get the mana up. Okay. And I'm going now. Now, as all the other videos, I will try to do a uh, true clear. Um, try not to miss out on too many mobs. Yeah. Um, it's unfortunate that uh, I didn't get free rows of mana, I can already see now. <laughs> but um, as you see, it's definitely an insane build for AoE. I was worried at the first that the range wouldn't be worth it, but it is. You just hit so much with it. And with the uh, super fast teleporting. You just get so much damage in. I need to go and get free rose potion. Yeah, that's the downside about this build here. It is very intense on the uh, mana. I wouldn't uh, recommend this for say a high level uh, solo play. This is just this is just one player on hell difficulty, so it's got up by so it's pretty easy for me to kill uh without too many mana issues but um I don't think this works in uh, in an eight player game too much
Anywho, it's basically just, you know, teleporting around and having fun with that. But anyway, if you go for this build, just be prepared. It will cost so much more than uh, a normal build. Just because you need a good amulet and a faster cast rate ring. And that's kind of what helped me back uh, always trying to uh, make this build. But now I invested some wealth in it and I'm definitely enjoying it. And there you go. Now let's test it on this pack here. Yeah. <laughs> Even Lord Desaise with his uh, immune didn't kill me that much. And now I just have to let my Merc do the work. Ah, I can try. At least tail a bomb on the guy. Yeah. Dead. Oh, let's loot that one just because it's funny. Yeah, now three minutes has passed, but I had to go to town as well, so. <laughs> it's not too bad. With a little more practice, I can probably do about two and a half minutes. I would say this has to be faster than uh, my old build. It just got to be. At least it feels like that. Ah, and Victor is lightning immune this time. Bit unlucky. Let's see about the loot. I wonder what this press Oh, yeah, it's a Venom Ward. That's a funny one. Now let's test the damage on the bus. Yeah, not the best bus damage at all. Um, it's pretty weak, but it gets the job done. And that's it. Four minutes with a little uh brisk uh, little break to town, so <laughs> yeah. It was unfortunate that I forgot about the mana potions I needed more. Anyways, that's pretty much the build. Um I think this will be my last build I will build in Diablo 2, at least for now. I can't really think of anything I want to do right now and this has been um kind of the last build I wanted to try out just cause I always thought that uh, a Nova Sorceress would be cool now another way to do a Nova Sorceress is to use Infinity as your weapon um, people actually say this is the best option to go um, but I haven't gotten a uh, good enough Infinity to try it out and I believe um, yeah you would also need um, a a special uh, infinity like this one has too much strain the dexterity requirement it's just a mess i think you would need a like a fresher or something like that so that's another thing to think about as well anyways uh, i hope you liked the video and uh, maybe it will give you some inspiration yourself and always check out my other guides for Diablo 2 builds hope you will like this video as much as you will like the others one because I've gotten quite a few views by now on the other guides I made for my characters and I'm quite happy about that. So thank you again for watching and goodbye.